This is a T-Mobile Gateway 5G home internet. Today I will be doing speed test comparison right next to it. And also I will be doing one in the attic which is on the third story. So this is the first floor. The ceiling is about nine feet high. Second floor, same thing. And then the attic. And also later on, I will be doing a speed test on the outside of the house to give you a really good idea and comparison of how this gateway by T-Mobile uh, Wi-Fi water perform. And the top of it does get a little warm. I already ordered a fan that can go on the bottom of it that will help circulate the warm air better and keep it, it keep it cooler. And if you're interested in getting this fan, I would really appreciate it if you use my link in the description below. Let's start by doing a speed test right next to it. I am still right next to my rather well, next to the TV. Let me turn on my phone data and I'm connected to the T-Mobile Wi-Fi. That's what I name it. Let's do a quick text. Quick test right next to it. So we're getting 453 download right next to it for now and about 80 upload, 78 upload. Now let's go to the attic which is the third story of the house to do a comparison. Right now I am in the attic and again remember the router, the T-Mobile Gateway 5G home internet is on the first floor. I went to the second floor and now this is the attic. I'm gonna do another speed test to show you the comparison now. How good it do between a layer of house or you can use the same demonstration for wall between your house and also the distance. The distance between each layer of the building is nine foot high. Okay, let's do the second demonstration now. Network data is turned off, still on the T-Mobile Wi-Fi. Now this is the speed test in the attic. As you can see, the connection is really strong. I am really impressed by this uh, T-Mobile 5G gateway router. It uses both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz and it have Wi-Fi 6. So you're ready to go. This is an amazing water, an amazing product. If you don't have the service, I would highly recommend you that you get it. Now, the one thing that I ha don't have for this water yet is the tiny fan, and I already ordered it. I will leave a link in the description for you if you're interested in getting this fan. It should keep your water cooler. I don't think you really need it, but I'm just getting it because I want to keep the temperature of the water down because it does get a little warm on the top of it. Now I'm gonna go and do a speed test on the outside of the house. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think it's a good idea to do a really good comparison test. So I'm gonna go outside now and show the distance from the house. And again, the water is on the back of that wall over there. This is the distance that I will be doing the speed test from. Remember that it is also going to through multiple layer of wall. I believe this is over 50 feet length. I did not measure it, but this is just a guess. Let's do the speed test. I'm on Wi-Fi, my network is turned off. Let's do a quick test on the outside of the house. The speed did drop uh, a lot. Remember that the speed is going over a greater distance and it's also going to multiple layer of walls, but this is not bad for outside usage. And the upload speed is still pretty good. Oh, 
overall i really like this t-mobile 5d home internet i have it for well over two weeks now and it has not disappointed me the only thing that i'm waiting for is the fan that goes on the bottom of this that will help circulate air and hopefully keep this a little cooler it's not that big of an issue your hand is not gonna get burned by it but i would like to make this device last as long as possible and also make it work better because it will stay cooler if you're interested in getting this little fan i will leave a link in the description and if you want to buy one i would really appreciate it if you use my link below and if you're wondering if you should get this service you should definitely get it just go on the t-mobile website and see if you have coverage in your area or if you have a t-mobile phone or it's a phone that uses the t-mobile network do a speed test in your house and see how good it performs. if you have a decent speed i would just go for it because this is just killing the speed that i used to get with xfinity and this is a great opportunity to get this right now and i'm i am really enjoying it thank you very much have a good one